my lovers welcome to my channel my name is made for love and today we're doing another pick a pile and this pick a pile or pick a card whatever whatever you want to call it um it's how your person is feeling and thinking about you and what are their intentions um towards you okay so we have three piles here we have the oceanic tarot and that's mainly you know like mermaids and that kind of stuff and then we have the gilded tarot i'll show you how they look inside to see if you know the colors may strike your fancy and then we have the chrysalis tarot that's not really representative yeah it's a beautiful deck okay so you can pause the video now take your time to choose your pile so pile one, pile two, pile three, and we are going to get into this reading. So let me just line them up the way they will be read. Nicely put the love here on this pedestal. <laughs> and we're going to begin. Alrighty. I'm just going to note the time. Okay. Perfect. All right. So let's see what's going on with you guys. Pile one. incorporate the energy um spirit could you bring us messages for pile one please messages for pile one and this this deck was given to me by my really good friend spice jam See what's happening with you and your person all right so the weather of this reading what do we have here we have abundance okay so this is the empress in reverse so somebody is in distorted um empress energy um so this could be relating to a karmic or perhaps it is um there's some kind of blockage on their abundance right now um yeah somebody's down on their luck somebody's losing money um they don't have loyal people around them um they've had a massive tower moment and that's because they were operating um unawakened okay all right so let's let's get into this and see what really is happening here um with your person okay when your person thinks about you thinks about this connection and um, what's happening here we have the knight of cups it's core proposals and the Knight of Cups is a Pisces. We have the Three of Swords, which is called Heartache, <laughs> pretty much. Um, that's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And we have the Two of Cups. Oh, wow beautiful uh, okay so what i'm i'm getting from this lineup is that i think recently your person might have learned the truth because we have all this blue here the truth about your connection and they're now realizing that this is a soul connection and they want to be in some sort of partnership with you i'm thinking maybe they were in third party situations before either they put you in third party and the third party was a shark right let's let's see that the, the third party was a shark you see the shark in the background and really was not was someone toxic so they're now recognizing oh no i need my dolphin because my dolphin is divinely guided and protected right so they really am um, suffering from this heartbreak here this person that they might have chosen over you um broke their heart um maybe they put them in third party situations now so now that they've had that heartbreak they're coming forward here on their horse on their horse <laughs> <laughs> on a little dolphin here um to give you some kind of proposal because the heartache that they experienced um is forcing them now to see who really has their back who's really in their corner they're just recognizing that so this is probably a masculine energy here that's one that wants to make this proposal but this person is just realizing 
conscious on a conscious level i think they may have always intuitively known or had it emotionally but they were denying their feelings but now they know on a conscious level this is a 12 cup situation all right so that's that's the headspace that's cognition all right let's see heart space now the emotional body when they think about you they think about this connection all right so we have here the sun happiness total happiness we have the tower destruction the sun is leo and the tower is aries and scorpio And we have the nine of wands called defense. Alrighty, and that's Leo Sagittarius, Aries energy. So what am I getting here? Um, this person now recognizes, as a result of this heartbreak and the situation with this third party, they're recognizing you are the sun. You have always brought them happiness. So now that their heart has been cracked open, they're really seeing the truth of their feelings. I think they, their heart was blocked before and they couldn't really appreciate what you brought into their life. But they've experienced some kind of heartbreak recently or some kind of tower moment and they're now recognizing who you are. You are their soul connection. You are their, their soulmate, their party, whatever, to inflame, whatever it is, right? Something in their life got destroyed. Some structure that they were building got destroyed. Some part of their life just came crumbling down let me clarify and see exactly what the hell that is about spirit why is the tower here okay you know what happened they started to do some healing they really start to reflect on their life and they identify their cones and see once that happened then the walls around their heart came crumbling down that's what happened there the walls around their heart came crumbling down. All the de all their defenses. This is why this nine of wands is here. All their defenses came crumbling down. This person might have been a loner before, trying to keep people out, trying to be self-sustaining. Because remember, seahorses are self-sustaining, right? Because they don't think it, they don't need anybody else to reproduce. Not so. I think so, right? Uh, you you guys will correct me. But I think seahorses don't need... Is it? Yeah, I think so. They don't need anyone to reproduce. Mm, I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Right? So they, they were alone, uh, being self-sufficient. They didn't want anybody else in their sphere. So they had all these walls up. But then their walls came crumbling down. All their defenses came crumbling down. And that's when they realized... <gasps> This person is total happiness. And it really revolutionized the, the way that they looked at love and the way that they looked at companionship and the way that they looked at their whole life. So this person underwent a powerful transformation as a result of this tower. They went through a powerful transformation. And that's what made them re recognize that they had a lot of feelings for you. They, I, think, I don't think they were they were willing to admit that because they didn't want anybody inside their heart space. All right. So th those are some powerful feelings, just even on a conscious level, right? So what's blocking this connection at this point in time? We have three of cups. Reunion. Okay. So what's blocking the connection? People people need to reach out in order to have this reconciliation. Maybe nobody's reaching out. That's one. But I'm getting that the two of pa the third party is still around. The third party might be still around because we have that three of swords here and now we have that tree. Um, we have the three of swords and now we have the three of cups. Um, so the third party is still around. Um, your person could also be numbing also. Because maybe um, they, they found out how much they care after you guys broke up. So now they might be drinking or something like that. And that kind of escapism uh, might be blocking the connection. We have four of swords in reverse. Um, so this person is still healing. They're still in recovery mode. 
so that's why they're probably not taking any action towards you at this point in time they're still in recovery and then we have here six of cups reflection all right so this person um several messages they may be there stuck in the past um and you know maybe reflecting on the ways that they hurt you and that's you know causing them a lot of shame and kind of immobilizing them is like toxic shame so they they don't know how to move forward i'm also getting um there might be a soulmate here and they may they might have children so that could be blocking the connection as well i mean you know your story but there are a lot of cups out here <clears throat> right and we um so this person can definitely be numbing um, but we have nine cups in all out here, right? So this, this could be a self-esteem issue, quite frankly, nine of cups. So it could be that this person, um, lacks self-confidence, lacks self-love. And that could also be blocking the connection. Okay. All right. So based on these energies here, what can we expect will be their actions towards you by the end of the month? What is this person going to do? What actions are they going to take towards you by the end of the month? We have the Ace of Cups in reverse and it's called Love. It's in reverse. I told you lots of cups out there. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy there. Loads of cups out here. We have the Four of Pentacles um, in the upright and it says security. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. And we have Hope, the Star, Aquarius energy. All right, so what am I getting here? Um, this person has a self-confidence issue, okay? This is Ace of Cups, and this also means that they're codependent. Now, they could be codependent on someone else, and maybe that's what's blocking them, or they could just have self-confidence and self-love issues. So what they're going to be doing, they're going to be working on getting themselves in a more stable frame of mind, okay? Diving deep into their emotions um, to really correct some, to really have some kind of course correction here, and really um, actualize um the emotional stability their financial stability and you know just their general environment rebuild their foundation because right now um they're pretty unstable there's there's a lot of things coming at them hard and fast um the depth of their emotions there could be changes in their physical environment if there's a third party around they have to figure out how to deal with that third party but certainly their hope is to come back and um heal this connection because it's a card of healing the star card is a star card healing hope balancing things out moving towards the star like you are their star right so this person definitely hoping um to cut that this comes back around and that they will be a lot smarter this time um let me see what is their ultimate intention towards you So whoever's watching this, the ultimate intention is to make you the main male, the main female or the main male um, um, in their life and to present you with some sort of gift here. They want and they want to be your counterpart. That's that's their that's their their main goal. The ultimate intention is to be your counterpart, to be the main man or the main woman in your life. I'm gonna take four cards. Let's see ultimate intention for power one okay this person is very very shy <laughs> what is this come on talk to us <laughs> oh my goodness 
talk to us talk to us yeah it comes on again they want to be the main person in your life and it's only ones 11 one so one 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 that could be a message for you guys we have courthouse let's get one more card and we have message of concern all right so what are they going to do their ultimate intention um they want to work on their fa their finances and their wealth because they're recognizing that they hit the jackpot with you right but they want to be able to provide they want to be able to present you with something they don't want to come to you empty-handed because they want to be the main man or the main woman um in your life and they want to be able to be an equal counterpart right um they want to make it official um they want to balance things balance things out they want to bring justice to you and the situation so whatever they're doing this official business they, they want this to be some sort of contract here right and they, they want to bring some sort of message to you um it's a message that's going to touch your your heart um you know and, and i guess it's a message of love it's going to be an emotional message um some of, some of it might be upsetting because they might be telling you about things from the past but whatever it is it's going to balance all the skills because there's a 14 so that's temperance and temperance about balancing and this is a card 11 and that's also about justice and the skills and balancing as well so their main goal is to establish equality here um to establish fairness and to be the main person um in your life okay so part one if you enjoy this reading please like share and you know if you haven't subscribed subscribe but definitely leave a, leave a comment even if it's just a smiley face because that really helps the channel and if you want me to look into your own situation um you can find my information in the description box okay all right power one that was your reading thank you so much for tuning in bye okay so that was power one let me just get this off the table okay power two you're up next let me see the time lovely Pile two. Pile two, welcome to your reading. And you chose the Gilded Tarot. It's actually one of my favorite decks. So let's see what's happening with your person. Okay, I think we have another pile where the, pers the person is focusing on finances right now. But I see that they want to come and offer some kind of apology. Give you some kind of a message here. Right, let's see what's happening. Yeah, the weather of the reading, you see, um, they see you as this Ten of Pentacles. Now, Ten of Pentacles talks about total wish fulfillment. It's not just about emotions, um, but it also talks about prosperity in the material world. It talks about generational wealth. I mean, growing old with someone, seeing the grandkids, you know, the dog. I mean, the, the whole shebang, that's how they see you, right? But they want to be able to have something to present to you um, when they come forward because... And that's why they're not coming forward, right? Eventually, they're going to come forward to do this proposal. But right now, they're trying to transform their life. And they're trying to free themselves from some sort of situation that they're in. But mainly free themselves from their self-defeatist thoughts and the self-defeatist mindset that they may have had themselves in for a very long time. Okay? With the Seven of Swords. This Eight of Swords reverse here. All right. So let's look into this and see what's happening with your person here. Because they, because they hold you in high esteem. You are their treasure. What is this? Yeah. You are the treasure. I'm getting like, they, like they're putting aside money or they're saving money to present to you because look at the, um, the smugness on this animal's face, animal's face. It's like, ta-da. Yes. It's all yours kind of way, but it's a, sl it's a slow and steady process. You see Mr. Turtle here, Mr. Turtle's right here. So it's a slow and steady process here, but eventually the sun is going to come out. You're this person's son. Okay, so messages for pile two. When this person thinks about you, thinks about this connection here, talk to us. <laughs> Tell us.
All right. We have the death card in reverse. That's scorpionic energy. We have the Ten of Cups in reverse. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Oh, you got four cards. We have the Nine of Pentacles reverse. Okay, so there's somebody that has self-esteem issues, okay? Um, Taurus, Fugo, Capricorn energy. And we have the King of Swords. All right, let me shift this down here so you can see everything. All righty. Okay. All right, so this may have been some kind of ghost ghosting situation or someone that deceived you okay i'm getting that really hard all right so your person um they don't want this connection to die okay they don't want this connection to die but they're not taking action right now because they are mid transformation there's a powerful transformation that's happening in their life right now big changes massive changes and that's why you're not hearing from them um, because, and I think these massive train changes were triggered by the fact that they missed out on an opportunity for their total happiness and total wish fulfillment by either ghosting you, cutting you out of their life, or you might have cut them out of your life, but somebody cut somebody out of their life. And, but, um, you know, it's not something that they wanted to do. They might have been ruthless. They might have been deceitful. But they didn't know who they were. They didn't they weren't be in they weren't operating um in their most authentic self. They were hiding behind a mask. And the reason why is because this person has low self-esteem. Um they're very codependent. Cool they're afraid of abandonment issues. So I think something about you triggered their reverse king of swords energy. Now, reverse king of swords, he's very defensive. Uh, reverse king of swords, it's very ruthless, very harsh with their words. But you, you have to look deeper into reverse king of swords because reverse king of swords only does that because it's like it's a wounded child. It's a wounded child. Reverse king of swords is a wounded child, right? And they use their words as their ammunition because they don't want people to hurt them. So the minute that they think that somebody wants to hit them and it could be all in their head, it could be something totally in their head, has nothing to do with your real intentions. But once they perceive that somebody is going to hurt them, um, then they're just ruthless. They wield that sword ruthlessly. And that's because they are very insecure, very codependent. They're afraid of people abandoning them, hurting them. So they're going to cut you out and cut you before you can cut them so that's what happened here so this person they're really sad right now they might even be depressed because they're recognizing that they missed out on an opportunity um for total wish fulfillment and that's because they did something impulsive and dumb all right let's see their heart space for you so they're, they're mid transformation here their heart space energy We have the Queen of Swords. <laughs> oh my word. This person's afraid of you. Now, King of Swords could be them. That's what they think of you. Eh? Maybe they think that you are ruthless with your words. Maybe you are the one that cut them out. Because maybe they weren't single. It's possible that they weren't single. So you wielded your sword and you just cut them out. Because maybe they were playing games. Um, either way, um, this person knows that they are yours. They are your king of swords, queen of swords, whatever it is. They are your counterpart. This is what this person knows. They know. Both in their heart and in their head, they know this. Because king of swords, queen of swords. So they know that you are their counterpart. They know. Anyway, queen of cups came out as well in their heart space that's a cancer three of cups here cancer pisces scorpio energy right so definitely i'm getting 
and the, the tower wow like all the piles are getting the bloody tower today the tower all right and that's scorpionic and aries energy so what am i getting here um this person sees you as the queen of swords you've laid a boundary this is my this is where i draw the line that's what you've told this person respect me or move on right so you've drawn a line you've drawn a boundary but you drawing that boundary you loving yourself was received differently this, to this person this person instead of them seeing the queen of swords you know teaching teaching them how you wish to be treated they saw you as this as ruthlessly cutting them out of your life right because this person doesn't know about boundaries right this is if this person's issue they're codependent so they don't know about boundaries so you enforcing a boundary they took as a kind of rejection or an abandonment anyway but this, this is how they're seeing you you clear very clear you communicate very clearly what your boundaries are and they see you in all your glory you're standing in your power and you are authentic you are not afraid to be your authentic self because you love yourself right that's a libra right there you love yourself so you're not afraid to speak your mind and that's what they are afraid of but they have so much love for you and they perceive you to be so very loving and they perceive you to be so emotionally mature and they have very mature emotions where you are concerned and they wish to offer you their cup of love they do they they're a little hesitant they're a little guarded you know there's a kind of trepidation on her face and that's because this person's afraid of rejection that's why they've never put their heart out there but i'm getting that there might be a third party in this mix and this third party it's a toxic relationship um there could be substance abuse um some kind of codependencies here but this person is definitely thinking about getting rid of the third party because they're, they're not happy this is the not happy card they're not happy that you're not in their life and they're not happy with this other person that they're with because i'm getting that there's a third party here right and you know <clears throat> they recently had some sort of tower moment right let me pull cards and see what this tower moment was all about so something in their foundation was destabilized okay so what happened this person learned a big big karmic lesson and closed off a major cycle in their life whether you know it or not right maybe you're not seeing the physical action but emotionally spiritually they have learned a profound lesson right let me see if we get all information and it's a lesson about love it's a lesson about commitment some of them could have ended a marriage here um, but they've learned a powerful lesson about what love really is okay so they could have been in some kind of committed relationship here but um, that that foundation they recognized was not stable because it was not based on love so that's what this tower moment was all about yeah they uncovered some sort of secret about their partner or they may have spoken their truth to their partner okay whatever it is it caused that 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 false tower that they had built to come crumbling down so you're gonna hear this this news um pretty soon because this person closed off a major cycle okay let's see the blockages here what's blocking this connection at this point in time your person may also think that you are not single okay with that nine of pentacles in reverse they may think that you are not single they may be afraid that you're with someone else i just got that message okay what's blocking this connection right now okay so we have the three of swords heartbreak and pain gemini libra aquarius energy what's blocking the connection the world we just saw it being clarified with one of the clarifying cards taurus aquarius leo scorpio energy what's blocking this connection the four of wands so there's definitely some kind of committed relationship here but this is coming to an end right now uh, what's blocking the connection um people aren't making the effort at this point in time 
you will probably step back all the way back from the situation and your person um, they're dealing with this shit that's going on right now okay so what's blocking the connection there's definitely a third party here but definitely heartbreak and loss um, and grief um, is blocking this connection what's blocking this connection um, your person is closing off a major cycle and they need to recover from that and, and to do um, with some foundation that they've built um, some partner um, your partner their partner could have been married but they're closing off that cycle right now we've had a double confirmation of it these are the actual cards that clarify that tower card if you remember okay so they're closing off this cycle because they're recognizing that they built a false foundation and and spirit brought down the tower okay their ego had to come down all right so based on these current energies what can we expect will be their actions towards you by the end of the month we have the lovers reversed Gemini we have the page of pentacles upright Taurus full Capricorn energy We have the Three of Wands in reverse, Leo Sagittarius Aries energy. We have the Page of Cups reverse, and we have the Five of Cups reverse. Okay, so what am I getting here? Um, this person, they're going to make a choice in love and they're going to choose you. And we know that they're going to choose you because we ask what are the, what are, what is going to be their actions towards you? And we see here them coming with their huge ass pentacle, even though they're feeling kind of small compared to you, because there's a young person, um, twenties to thirties, right? And they feel very immature compared to you and they have a lot of pride. So they're kind of trepidatious about bringing this pentacle, but this pentacle is a huge deal to them. I don't think they've ever offered this pentacle to someone else. So they're really kind of, they've, they're guarded. They're, they're holding that pentacle over their whole chest um, because they don't want to be exposed. They feel exposed. They feel unsure. They feel vulnerable. My goodness, if you see the, the expression on this person's face, they feel so vulnerable, but they're coming far because they're recognizing that you're the one, right? And they can't wait any longer. Maybe they think that you're going to be with someone else. So they can't wait. They can't wait any longer. I think they were waiting for something um, to happen, some kind of shifts to come in, but they're not waiting any longer. And they're getting rid of this third party. They're no longer making any offers to this third party. So I see them also very unsure about coming forward, but they're coming, right? Because they have been in a place of grief shame and regret this low vibration for a long time and they know that they have to make a move to come out of that so they're coming here with some kind of gift some kind of offer it could be an apology um it's something small but it's something big to this person even apologizing is something big to this person okay so let's see what's this person's ultimate intentions towards you They, they, they think that you are so mature when compared to them. I saw the mature man and then I saw the mature woman. So it's their intention to, to grow old with you. That is their intention um, to be the main person in your life, the main man, main woman in your life. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I told you, it, it's just... And you know, you can probably watch pile one because this came off of pile one, right? So their intentions towards you to be the main man or main woman. And if they have to change to do that, um, they're going to do that. They want to come out of this, this feeling of disappointment and regret and shame that's been causing them so much bad health. And they, they want to, as we say in the Caribbean, put you in house. They, they want to create this family um, with you. That's the ultimate intention. No matter what cards come out here, right? 
all right so first thing they want to do they want to message you they want to send you some sort of message of love um it's a passionate message um so they want to come forward and and they they feel intimidated because um I, as i told you before to them you are so very mature whether you're a mature man mature woman or just mature um emotionally then you don't have to be mature chronologically but emotionally they see that maturity in you so they want they want to come correct so it's their intention to come forward with a message first right they see you guys growing old together what's this yeah they they, they, they see you guys going down life's path together you know all this beauty and it, they think that this is some kind of fated connection or it's divinely guided with that light there yeah but they're really concerned they're concerned that they're concerned if they're good enough for you they're concerned if you're going to reject them but they know that you are the one you are see we have a, a mature man here we have a mature woman here so they know that you are their counterpart okay right so it might even be twin flames because counterparts here um counterparts up here okay all right so pile two this was your reading if you enjoyed it please like share subscribe um definitely subscribe um put a little comment below even if it's a smiley face it really helps the channel and if you want me to look into your personal situation um you can see uh, my prices and my descriptions in the description box okay pal two take care bye All right so that was part two let me just put this aside and part three let me see the time 37 right okay so you are okay let's see this card Ooh, the devil so somebody's in some kind of toxic or codependent relationship oh my gosh now it could be your person's feeling very sexually attracted to you as well and they're recognizing that this they feel bound to you this is the infinity side they feel bound to you but it looks like somebody's in a toxic connection here yeah lots of conflict and uh, people lots of interference this pile there's lots of interference in your connection all right let's see this. all right so this is the chrysalis tarot given to me by my friend and subscriber honey oh she's so sweet <clears throat> all right let's see maybe she'll pick this pile <laughs> all right let's see what's going on so this pile there's some kind of interference here all right what's the energy of this reading oh the energy of this reading is that somebody i always leave these in and you know they always give you another message all right so this person that you're dealing with they're focusing on their abundance and co-creating with the universe because they want to create something unique and very special with you they want to be able to provide protect um this is taurus Virgo, capricorn energy right king of stones this is what they want to be stable grounded and they want to be loyal they want to be loyal and they want to end the cycle of burden right here okay they're this person might be married they're thinking about coming out of that marriage but there is a spiritual lesson that they're still learning there but it is their intention to come forward with some sort of offer okay all right so let's get into this pile this is interesting because you guys came out with a devil bam so when your person thinks about you thinks about this connection Ooh, ten of cups right off the bat upright <clears throat> cancer pisces scorpio energy we have knight of cups in reverse pisces energy so a lot of emotions here again this this person could also be drinking to numb the pain as well because there are a lot of cups out here and then we have the hermit in reverse Virgo energy 
Okay. All right. What are we getting here? All right. So your person knows that you are the one. Okay. You are their total wish fulfillment, happiness. You are their mirror soul, mirror self. So it could even be twin flames here. Um, but they're not offering you anything right now. They're not offering you anything right now. They're very hesitant for whatever reason. Right? They're very hesitant. Um, they've come out of hermit mode. They want to take some kind of action. I'm getting that they're unsure of exactly what action to take. And that's why this Knight of Cups is in reverse. They're blocking this offer. They're blocking themselves from making this offer because I'm getting that they might be in a complicated situation here. You know what I'm getting from the storytelling in reverse? I'm thinking that this person might have lied to you in the past about their situation. I'm getting that there are lots of things that you do not know about their situation. And that's blocking them from bringing an offer also because they know if they come to you now trying to manifest this Ten of Cups, all those lies that they told in the past, they have to reveal. And that is that is kind of daunting um, to this person. Let's see the heart space energy for you. We have the Ace of Scrolls, which is the Ace of Wands in this deck. Oh my, why, why am I seeing Ace of Wands? Um, so maybe your person is very sexually attracted to you. That's why I said Ace of Wands. But sorry, this is the Ace of Swords. So this person coming right off the bat in their heart space, they know they have to bring you a message of truth. I'm getting that this person told a lot of lies to you. So prepare yourself. All right. When they come forward, there's some of the information they're going to tell you. Um, it's probably going to shock you. Okay. Um, we have here the sun and even the sun is crying. Even the sun is crying. I'm getting that there's lots of things you don't know. Um, this is Leo energy. And we have the two of wands right this bird trying to figure out which nest to feather all right so what am i getting um your person they want to come and speak their truth um there's something that they're now recognizing about the situation and they're now recognizing that the truth is going to be the key that unlocks your heart okay it's going to be the key to solve all their problems L not just speaking the truth but them being their authentic self them living an authentic life um, this is the key to their happiness. They're recognizing that now. Um, and because they want the sun to shine in their life, the sun hasn't shown in their life for a long time. In fact, you're the sun. You're the sun. They really look up to you because they're now recognizing that you brought a lot of happiness into their life. Life with you was, was lively. <laughs> you know, this looks like a lotus flower. It's like... You know, there was constant rebirth, there was change, there was beauty. And they see you now in your masculine energy, being a go-getter, um, you know, just standing in your power. And that's just beautiful to them. That's just beautiful. So they want the sun to shine on them. They want you to shine on them. They want you to be proud of them. Right? So now they're here at a crossroads. Where shall I? feather my nest and each choice is going to take them down a different path and down a different rabbit hole into a different cycle so they're they're right here at the cusp of a new life either way they either can repeat the cy the cycle the karmic cycle from before or they can do something differently so that's where they are in their heart right now so there's a lot of indecision here because either way it's big changes. What's blocking this connection? We have here the chariot. Cancer energy. We have here the ten of wands. Leo Sagittarius Aries energy. We have here the Queen of Cups, the what? <laughs> the Watcher. All right, so I definitely think there's someone else in their life, and this person monitors their every 
move that's why this person's called the watcher and this person might even be a wise woman meaning they may have spiritual gifts and maybe they monitor them that particular way so they could even be um, some kind of magic here as well or some kind of spell work All right but this person is watching them constantly so what's blocking the, the connection okay so we have a wise woman here that might be blocking the connection um, but we have the chariot and a chariot talks about using the force of your will to control your destiny and push yourself forward but here i'm seeing you know the, the, there's there's blockages in the way that there's, there's trees blocking the path so this person um not using their truth to barrel ahead because there's a lot of things in their path okay they're they're solid foundations in their path these trees are solid foundations right could be a reference of family tree so there could be a family setup and that's blocking their path your person may have a lot of responsibilities and burdens here with these ten of wands um, that they may not be able to just shuck off just like that okay there's a lot of responsibilities and I'm also getting a lot of lessons these private spirals here they're all karmic cycles so there's a lot of lessons um, that they have to learn so spirit might be blocking their path even so that they learn these lessons where they are they might not have been learning these lessons before but now that they've been more receptive spirit is um asking them to close off these cycles all right so what's um what's based on these energies we're seeing here what will be their actions towards you potential actions towards you by the end of the month We have the seven of wands in reverse. I have to, put, I have to clarify that because the seven of wands is one of those cards that can go either way. We have the seven of swords. Seven of wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, seven of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the Eight of Wands, and then we have the Nine of Cups, okay? This is Leo Sagittarius Aries, and this is Cancer Pisces Scorpio. All right, the only card that's weird here um, is the Seven of Swords here, because now that I've seen the other cards, I know what this Seven of Wands is about. But this Seven of Swords doesn't fit the others, so let me just clarify and see what Spirit is saying about that Seven of Swords. Okay, and we have a Princess of Swords or Page of Swords. And we have the Seven of Pentacles, Seven, Seven. Okay, what I'm getting from this card is that um, the Divine has stepped in. And they're now forcing this person to come to you and communicate about some deception from the past. So I told you this person didn't tell you everything. So there's new things that you are going to learn, right? So there, there's, there was deception in the past that they are now very ashamed about. You see his head is down very ashamed about it um this, this person's gonna message you or come to you and talk to you about it because they're bringing some kind of message here of love and they're gonna tell you the truth right um they're gonna be vulnerable and this is gonna be something hard for this person to do they're gonna be vulnerable and tell you the truth about all the deception all the manipulation from the past the betrayal um they're gonna speak their words of love they're gonna tell you why they were running away from this connection why they were running away from self and then they're going to tell you uh, that you are their total wish fulfillment. You are their nine of cups. Because they're finally going to learn to love themselves. When they come forward, it's because they have learned their lessons. The lessons that they were supposed to learn, I'm getting with another party. They've learned the lessons and that's going to push them into self-love. Okay? Alright, so let's see what is their ultimate intentions towards you. Ultimate intentions. Let's get that a little shuffle. So as of right now, what is their ultimate intentions towards? See, we're gonna get four cards. Okay, 
we have thief and thief talks thief talks about loss and uh, we have courtship right thief talks about feeling your loss just now we have message we have distant horizons and it's so weird how they're lining up right seven of swords this person sending a message to you um then and then we have the message here and then we have eight of wands traveling to you to communicate and then we have distance horizon so which is the same so it looks like for now this person has kind of short-term goals let's see sudden wealth okay all right so right now what this person is thinking about i think they have a short-term plan right now okay i think this person decided to kind of going to live in the now kind of way so they've been feeling your loss okay that's what i'm getting here because this is what the thief card means they've been feeling your loss in love this is a card number six because 24 reduces to six they've been feeling your loss in love they feel they've been feeling the loss of your love right so their intention is to send you a message explaining everything travel towards you because they don't like how distant you guys have been um they've been going deep within we have number nine there which is a card of the virgo they've gone deep within they saw how they were ungrounded in the past and they want to do some kind of course correction um they're also going to be focusing on their finances because they're recognizing that you they won the jackpot with you and they want to be able to give to provide so they're going to be focusing on their finances so that they can become um, more stable okay so i think they want to they want to provide um they want to travel towards you they want to communicate with you because they've really felt the loss of you all right my lovers if you enjoyed this reading please hit the like button please make a comment even if it's just a smiley face and definitely share um if you're so if you so you're so guided um if you want me to look into your personal situation my information is down below okay um and or my, in the, it's in the description box okay so thank you guys for tuning in and take care